good morning children so after the completion of the i mean the disease the cancer today we will discuss about another wonderful topic so this is actually topic it is related to the training or to give the education about the drugs okay so that's why so today we will uh, start the discussion as well as we will study in detail about the drugs and alcohol abuse okay so which is including the drugs smoking and alcohol abuses first of all the question arises before we are going to study about the classification what are the narcotic drugs okay or drug so generally you must have heard about the terminology in medical shops also okay they will be written the name the drugs but the problem is here what are the drugs which causes the problem so they are nothing but narcotic drugs okay so then we should know the meaning what is narcotic drug okay please note down narcotic drugs are psychoactive okay so narcotic drugs are psychoactive so that is nothing but psychotropic or mood altering so psychoactive means generally so which is alter the mood or we can also say psychiatric it is related to the mental pleasure okay so the narcotic drugs are psychoactive agents reduces cns activity so that is cns means central nervous system activity and induce generally sleep see this is the reason generally why they may get addict so there may be uh, different reasons so for the purpose of the addiction but why they will be get addicted so after the taking of these narcotic drugs so they feel psychoactive that is nothing but mood altering they feel a uh, temporarily uh, i mean the happiness and these agents reduces the central nervous system activity and induce the sleep okay and these narcotic drugs are broadly classified into four types generally so they are broadly i mean the narcotic drugs are broadly classified into four types namely write down stimulants s t i m u l n t s stimulants and depressants okay depressants comma and analgesics and hallucinogens okay so these are all the uh, classification with respect to the narcotic drugs so before we are going to study about the i mean the classification of the drugs let us study the narcotic drugs okay how they are classified as i said write down the stimulant that is nothing but stimulants stimulants they are nothing but these drugs stimulate the nervous system provide excitement and reduce sleep and hunger okay you know so you must have heard about the common stimulants caffeine cocaine nicotine and amta that is amphetamines so these are all the example for the stimulants okay what are the stimulants so stimulants are the drugs which stimulates the nervous system provide excitement and reduces sleep and hunger okay so best example caffeine cocaine nicotine and amphetamines the second one is depressants okay depressants so they are nothing but sedatives and tranquilizers okay so depressants are nothing but the sedatives are tranquilizers so these drugs reduce the body activities and relieve pain okay but remember the overdoses of these depressants causes the drowsiness respiratory failure and which may leads to the coma also so this is the problem with respect to the depressants best example valium v a l i u m valium barbiturates sleeping pills generally okay the composition of the sleeping pills is nothing but barbiturates and alcohol they are nothing but the depressants and the third classification analgesics analgesics that is nothing but opiates okay so in the next slide i will tell you how they are classified okay analgesics they are nothing but so these drugs suppress the brain activity also reduce the 
pain okay so that's why generally you know the number of uh, athletes are the sports persons they involved in the uh, drug cases because after the physical activity they may be feeling very high pain to reduce the pain they may take these things okay but it is prohibited but generally uh, these are the reasons okay when it comes to the analgesics heroin commonly used the brown sugar morphine codeine methadone so these are all examples of the analgesics and the fourth one is hallucinogens hallucinogens h a l l u c i n o g n s hallucinogens so these are mind expanding drugs okay hallucinogens are nothing but these are the mind expanding drugs they can alter the thoughts feelings and perceptions okay so that is the reasons one who is get addicted for the hallucinogens they will be always in their a uh, separate uh, i mean the world okay so examples lsd you know you must have heard about the lysergic acid diethylamide it is short form known as lsd and ganja okay marijuana hashish so these are all some of the example for the hallucinogens so this is the classification with respect to the narcotic drugs but when it comes to the normal classification some of the important narcotic drugs are discussed okay which is given in your syllabus and that one first one is opioids second one is cannabinoids and the third one is cocaine or we can also say coca alkaloids okay so let us discuss one by one about the common classification of course there are also narcotic drugs only but when it comes to the classes okay some of the important narcotic drugs are uh, mainly they are classified into which is given in your syllabus opioids cannabinoids and cocaines okay let us discuss one by one in that one first one opioids or we can also say opioids so they generally how they actually work or how they react they bind to the specific opioid receptors which is present in our uh, central nervous system and gastrointestinal tracts okay so for example the morphine heroin and brown sugar some of the opioids so the drugs which binds to the specific opioid receptors which is already present in our central nervous system as well as gastro that is gastrointestinal tracts so heroin is commonly heroin is commonly called smack chemically diacetyl morphine okay heroin is commonly called the smack it is chemically diacetyl morphine it is a white okay orderless bitter crystalline compound okay and how it is obtained it is obtained by acetylation of the morphine okay so extracted from the latex of the puppy plant that is the name of the plant papaver somniferum and generally taken by the snorting and injections okay so heroin is depressant and slows down the body functions so as i said the morphine okay so morphine is actually how exactly they will extract the morphine is extracted from the latex of the puppy plant okay so here is in the they were given how it is look like the milky latex which is extracted from the name of the plant popever somniferum and it is a sedative and painkiller and useful for generally in the surgery before they are going to perform the any surgical operations so these will be given in the form of the sedatives okay and painkillers also it is available in the market in the, in the tablets okay as well as in the form of the injections also so chemically so how it is look like see here is the diagrammatic representation as well as chemical structure and as i said no heroin heroin is commonly known as the smack or diacetyl morphine how it is look like chemically it is a white orderless bitter crystalline compound it is obtained by acetylation of the morphine okay and it is taken by generally how they will take the drug addicts through snorting and injections 
and it is a depressant and slows down by the generally almost all all the body functions so after this one so we have to discuss about excuse me there is another important term classification with respect to the drugs cannabinoids okay so they interact with the cannabinoid receptors in the brains you know the cannabinoids are nothing but group of chemicals that interact with the cannabinoid receptors of the brain okay and generally taken by inhalation and oral ingestions so it is obtained from inflorescence of the cannabis sativa so name of the plant okay how it is look like here it is given the uh, i mean the slide and the flower top generally there is nothing but the inflorescence leaves and resin of cannabis plants are used in the various combinations to produce the that is marijuana hashish charash and ganja okay so generally taken by the inhalation and oral ingestion which affects on cardiovascular system of the body okay so one who will be addicted for this cannabinoids uh, i mean the regularly surely they will suffer from the cardiovascular disorders cannabinoids are also being abused by some sports persons generally okay i told no so during the physical activities extreme physical activities to reduce the pain so but it is illegal as i said in the beginning it is illegal it is not allowed if they get caught in the drug that is a dope test they will be suspended okay yeah here is the uh, i mean the representation given the natural cannabinoids which are obtained from the inflorescence of the plant cannabis sativa that is commonly known as hemp plant okay and its flower tops there is nothing but inflorescence leaves and resins are used to produce the so that's what i said marijuana hashish charash and ganja so this is how it is look like okay so hashish charash even cannabis resins how they will uh, i mean <coughs> generally uses and if you see this one the natural cannabinoids are obtained from the inflorescence as uh, just now as i said they affect the cardiovascular system okay and cannabinoids are abused by some sports person just now as i said here is how they will uh, consume okay the skeletal structure of cannabinoid molecules how it is look like in competitive and one two mass questions they will ask okay write the structure of the cannabinoid molecule like that also they can ask okay in competitive especially they will ask so remember okay so that so this is actually uh, third classification that is a uh, uh, some of the important narcotic drugs as i said in the beginning so after the opioids and cannabinoids the third one is cocaines okay cocaines they are commonly known as coca alkaloids okay coke or crack and see here in this case the coca alkaloid or the cocaine is obtained from coca plant so it is commonly known as uh, that is botanical name only actually erythroxylum coca okay coca alkaloid or cocaine is obtained from coca plant erythroxylum coca it interferes with the transport and there is nothing but transport of neurotransmitter dopamines okay so how it will be acts on the nervous system it interferes with the transport of the neurotransmitter that is a dopamines cocaine is commonly called that is coke or crack it is usually snorted you know uh, one of the interesting thing so there are number of cases in the i mean chocolate and all they uses this coke i mean the cocaine very i mean the less uh, percentage to make the children to get addict with respect to the chocolates okay yeah so as i said how they will be generally consumes the cocaine is usually snorted okay and the uh, the potent uh, stimulating effect on the central nervous system 
it stimulates the cns producing euphoria and increased energy euphoria means a uh, temporarily mental pleasure okay whenever they uses this one they feel a mentally temporarily okay temporarily pleasure so that's why they get addict okay so that is nothing but sense of a pleasure the mental pleasure and that excessive dosage of cocaine causes hallucinations so that's what i said uh, whenever they get addicted periodically some people they will take excessive dosage in such a cases the excessive dosage causes uh, hallucinations okay and even other plants with the hallucinogenic protein that is a properties or atropa belladonna and the tura okay so actually uh, belladonna it is used as a i mean a pain killing in the form of a pain killer you know in the medical shops and all you must have observed the name of the sheets they will give belladonna okay belladonna sheets which is having a property to cure the pain which is acts as a pain reducers okay and even datura also okay so and even the drugs like you know the drugs like barbiturates so even amphetamines benzodiazepines they are also used as medicines to treat the mental illness like depressions and insomnia so it is a very interesting thing that the medical use of the drugs okay so of course they are also uh, considered as a narcotic drugs only but by using in a appropriate manner so and even the percentage okay the drugs like that is barbiturates amphetamines even benzodiazepines okay benzodiazepines even you know uh, lysergic acids lsd used as medicine to help the patients to cope with the mental illness like uh, depression and insomnia okay so but they are abused resulting in impairment of physical psychological or psycho i mean the psychological functions okay this is a very important okay so in the beginning they may be uh, provided a very a little amount in the form of the i mean the medicines but uh, if it will be given prolonged usage they may be get addicted again okay yeah so and one more thing remember so actually morphine is a very effective sedative and pain killer used for the surgery patients one more question they will ask which is a uh, mine a sedative and pain killer used for the surgery so morphine is used okay morphine is very effective and sedative and pain killer used for the surgery patients okay and the plant product with hallucinogenic property have used as a, a folk medicines religious ceremonies and rituals also okay so this is a, a one of the i mean the reason generally the peoples with remote area okay especially how they may be get addicted so that's what i said so due to the hallucinogenic property okay and have used as a folk medicines even religious ceremonies and rituals okay so that's why even though so they are get addicted with respect to the remote areas okay yeah so these are all with respect to the drugs so that is nothing but the narcotic drugs the classification and the some of the important narcotic drugs are Uh, given in your syllabus that is nothing but opioids cannabinoids cocaines okay so after this one we have to discuss about there is another important topic that is nothing but smoking okay smoking yeah so you know what is is actually yes so smoking is nothing but so generally it is associated with okay the tobacco has been used by human beings for over 400 years so it is just like a snuff okay or it is a uh, snuff is generally smoked is don't think that only a snuffing it may be also chewed okay so you know uh, the tobacco the smoking is nothing but the major component comes here the tobacco so the tobacco is smoked how they may be generally chewed are used as snuffs 
so on during the period of the i mean the human evolutions the tobacco has been used by the human beings for over actually uh, uh, recently they are telling 400 year but more than that also earlier only the the humans were know about the usage of the i mean the tobacco okay and remember this tobacco contains nicotine and alkaloid so this is a very big problem okay so it contains many chemical substances like nicotine that is an an alkaloid which uh, stimulates the adrenal glands to release the adrenaline and noradrenaline causing high bp and heart rates okay see whenever they i mean the snuff so generally chew this tobacco the nicotine which is present in the tobacco which stimulates the adrenals to release so whatever the uh, i mean the adrenaline or noradrenaline hormones they are generally increases the blood pressure and increases the heartbeat also okay so this how they will be feeling the excitement so by snuffing the auto that is a tobacco but remember uh, so generally they will think that uh, short form euphorbia by using the tobacco the smoking is associated with cancer of the lungs okay the smoking causes cancer of lungs urinary bladder okay and throat cancer even emphysema bronchitis okay so and even coronary heart diseases even as well as, well as gastric ulcer so these are all the different type of the disorders or the diseases with respect to the cancer especially it is associated with the smoking even the tobacco chewing causes the oral cancer okay so remember how actually the problematic the smoking is problematic to uh, human beings whenever the uh, snuff or the smoke the tobacco the smoking increases carbon dioxide content of the blood okay reduce the oxygen carrying capacity of the hemoglobin so that's what the i mean the whenever this carbon monoxide content in the blood reduces oxyhemoglobin so this causes oxygen deficiency in the body okay so that periodically whenever they don't get proper oxygen okay so whenever they don't get proper oxygen the cells will be okay the cells will be generally uh, i mean they are not able to work uh, efficiently so that the prolonged period of the exposure of the smoking or the tobacco which leads to the cancer okay so these are all about the i mean that today we were discussed about two important topics that is nothing but drugs and that is smoking so let it be next class we will continue with respect to the another important topic that is nothing but adolescence and drug or we can also say adolescence and the alcohol abuse okay so because that is a, a separate topic and it is a very important topic so that we will discuss the topic in detail okay so until then please go through this video so check it out watch twice no problem okay go through the your notes so then and also try to answer the questions which is appeared in the earlier classes so that i mean the earlier exams also so that you can get the idea how they will ask the questions which is related to the this topic okay so this is one of the important topic they can ask for the minimum four or five marks questions okay so thank you have a nice day